Hey guys, DBS here, and today we're posting another video on Minecraft, but this time we're gonna learn some basic TNT together forever. To test the TNT imaginations, I built this for our wall seriously. And this wall does not have to be involved with Donald Trump. Yep. <laughs> That's seriously that's not a Sorry, seriously. And today we're doing the basics first before the more advanced stuff and learning all of uh, uh, all of all of it. For learning all of the fancy things in Minecraft you know about. First off, what is TNT? TNT is one of of the Explosives that can be activated in Minecraft. This is one of the most explosive things, and you can make this by pyramid. All you need is sand and gunpowder. Five, I think it's five sand and four gunpowder to make it, or maybe the other way around. But the power of TNT is what? Why is how do you ignite it? Takes eight blinks, prefer explodes. And it has a max rages of something, something, something. We're not doing that for now. First, to activate let TNT is you have to know how do you never activate it. First of all, you can activate with flint and steel. That's good. You can activate it with redstone torches. Activate it with a button. Any button you want to place it. Activate with daylight sensors, which is pretty unique actually. So you can push the day, maybe at night. So doing day for now. So activate. It also activates with activated redstone. We can use what else? Fire charge. And this is only on P edition, so we're just gonna do it. Observer blocks to rescue. God dang it, I forgot to use observer blocks. Place that right there. Come on, observer. Okay, okay, okay. Do the uh, 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 right there. Go, come on. There. There we go, it worked. I'm not gonna explain it for now. And the most of uh, one of the useful things that you can do with you can also do it with levers and repeaters. To like time it like delay with a redstone torch right there, it will explode bam. After leaving this hood mess, did you even know that TNT will not destroy any blocks around it if it's on water? Only for the tips of the noobs. So we can activate his TNT now. And this will not hurt any blocks around it. Just like that. Now, did you know that you can launch other TNT if it's activated? That is on water. So do this now. Activate it. Boom. Wow. Not doing that. Not doing that. But first, we're gonna do with a simple, regardless of TNTs. First off, we're not gonna do this yet. This is the more my creation stuff. This is your basic TNT cannon. All you need to do, find an appropriate block for it. That is not being destroyed by it. So we're gonna recopy it this. Need three blocks wide. And... Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine blocks long. Auto jumps on. I don't care. Water bucket. And to measure the stuff of the other way, the another way to measure how long this is. If water is in here, then cap it off to the edge of it right there. All you need to do is cobblestone slabs, some repeaters, 
Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Six repeaters. Need a bit of redstone. Need a button. Where the heck's my button? A button or a lever or a redstone torch, whatever you want. But a button mark mostly works. You can need your cobblestone slabs or you can do pressure plates. That is tapped on fence and this is the first one that you can slap. So it blocks the water right there. Another method is getting any kind of pressure plates. We're going to go stone and a fence and then get your very own pressure plate. That also works. But I recommend the slab. It's more OP. And we place the slab. Now we need to get it two ways of redstone. First, we need to block off the water source accidentally pressing it most important thing redstone you get three blocks wide of redstone the other side is gonna be the repeaters set on full delay in one three clicks each then redstone all around but not the end of this why would my activate the TNT right here so we're placing that right there. Gotta place the TNT for now. Then let's place a block near the TNT edge. I'm placing this for now. That it that it will go straight ahead to Donald Trump's wall. Place your TNT. Place your redstone. Then you're good to go. Gonna demonstrate to you my first creation. Which works handsomely. So good that, that. Activate it. It's gonna delay until the very end of that one and explodes. Oh. Oh, it explodes that one. That's good. But now we need to place this one. That's good. Forgot. But we, we, we made a mark. So it delays all the. Oh, balls. Um. This is what happens when you don't time it correctly. This is what will not happen. Like firing on the time you want to do it, then that does not work. Yep, that does not really work. For now, got one more thing in the cannon to show off. This is gonna involve it because it fires too high. We're gonna set a wall. Like freaking yeah, place everything that you can and don't make it small so it will not go up super ill come on Wayne bad timing we're making a stupid video there you go sorry about that again now I'm gonna fire this but this time we're not gonna do the first layer we're also gonna do the second layer. So place that. Only place one TNT. Just, just like so. Then all of the remaining. Right. So you're good to go. To make this, you're gonna do the same. Same actual like that. But a second platform. And before the edge of the repeated one. On top of the repeated one. You gotta put a slab. Just so that that the redstone goes past the slab because it's not a full block so redstone can pass through it and again repeaters has to be set to full delay and make another one to the bottom then go maybe go this side but i want to go left side i prefer it then click this to activate all the tnt at once activate the last one far so high up in the air that it that it does not want to go off. That's the importance of redstone. That is life. Redstone is love. Redstone is life. Redstone is all the things I want to learn about. I'm one of the redstone specialists <laughs> for my team. Activates that. Boom. Oh, it's stuck there. Nice. So, yeah. 
a little cub. And I spawns. So I'm gonna leave this episode here. If you guys want more TNT awesomeness, be sure to know. But for now, we're gonna we're gonna continue this the next episode before we get too fancy with all the redstones around us. So see you guys in the next episode and happy new year. Whoopish.